In the meantime, the city of Philadelphia filed suit today against three gun dealers it says are recklessly fueling the crisis of violence. According to that lawsuit, those three vendors alone, two in Philadelphia, one in Bucks County, illegally sold guns later linked to more than 1,300 crimes that played out on city streets. Action News reporter Toronto Thomas uh, live in Wissanoming outside one of those gun shops tonight. Toronto, they're accused of ignoring glaring warning signs about what it is they were selling. Yes, that's right, Brian. You know, city leaders say this gun shop, along with two others, collectively sold at least 138 guns to at least 32 straw purchasers. That was between March of 2018 and March of 2022. Now, this is the first lawsuit of its kind in Philadelphia regarding straw purchases, but it's the second lawsuit this month involving illegal guns. And they clearly have not met their level of responsibility to making sure that these guns are sold to the right people. It's why the city of Philadelphia has filed a lawsuit against three local gun shops accused of repeatedly selling guns that were straw purchases. Straw purchases represent a disturbing trend that's plagued our society for far too long. These shops know it's illegal to sell to straw buyers. Straw purchases happen when someone buys a gun with the intention of illegally transferring it to someone else or supplying it to the criminal gun market. Gun stores that are federally licensed are regularly reminded of and trained on how to spot straw purchasing. These indicators are include bulk purchases of firearm, buying the same firearm over and over again. The three shops named in the civil suit are Tanner's Sports Center in Jamison Bucks County, Delia's Gun Shop in Wissanoming, and Frank's gun shop in Holmesburg. From 2015 to 2019, more than 1,300 crime guns recovered in Philadelphia were traceable to the three defendant businesses. We reached out to all three gun shops. None of them wanted to comment, but this press conference uh, here we are again comes just three weeks after another press conference where the city announced a lawsuit against distributors of ghost guns, which are sold in parts and are untraceable. City leaders say the lawsuits are their only recourse after frustrating fights with state lawmakers who resist Philadelphia's efforts to create its own gun laws. The legislature won't stop them and the Congress won't stop them and we have to resort to civil lawsuits in order to get to where, where they really live, which is their pocketbooks. Now, Mayor Kenny says the city could file even more civil lawsuits targeting illegal guns. As for this lawsuit, it is seeking an unspecified amount of damages. In Wissanoming, Toronto Thomas, Channel 6 Action News. Brian? Toronto, thank you.